guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we got a couple new things going on. First and foremost, I have a new backdrop. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. So in today's video, I want to do something a little bit different than your ordinary just brown makeup look. So I added a pop of yellow with the eyeliner and I think it is so beautiful and so wearable and fun. I'm really obsessed with how it came out. So if you would like to see how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to do is take some scotch tape. This is going to really help with the crispness of our eyeshadow and our eyeliner. So the first thing you want to do is take that tape and put it on the back of your hand. This is going to help it be less sticky when you put it on your skin as well as when you remove it. And we're just going to follow that lower lash line as our guide. Next, as always, I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow primer. This is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to go ahead and put that on both my eyelids just to prep them for the eyeshadow. Now to set the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be taking the shade Bay from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette and this fluffy brush from IT Cosmetics and I'm just going to place that all over my eyelids to set that paint pot. Next, taking the fluffy side of that brush, I'm going to take sandalwood from that same eyeshadow palette and begin to buff that all through my crease as a transition color. Next, with the smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking the next shade over, which is henna, and I'm going to be placing this right under that sandalwood shade just for that transition. And don't forget to blend. I'm just going to take my original fluffy brush and continue to blend those colors until there's no harsh edges. Next, with my Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Coco from that same eyeshadow palette and begin to place it in my crease as well as my outer corner. Next with the dome shaped brush, I'm going to continue to put that color in the outer corner as well as the crease to help blend and really add more color in there. Next with my Inglot 10S brush, which is like a tapered crease brush, I'm going to use that to further blend the eyeshadow that I had put in my crease. Next, I'm going to go back in with my eyeshadow primer and this flat eyeshadow brush from Anastasia. And I'm going to use this to kind of cut the eyelid just to make it a little bit more defined and clean up that lid space. And now I'm just going to go back in with that dome brush and that cocoa color just to add some more brown that might have been covered up by the eyeshadow base. Now with my Sigma E55 shading brush, I'm just going to take that color Bay once again from the eyeshadow palette and place that all over where we just put the eyeshadow base just to set it and use that for our lid color. Okay, and now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking this yellow eyeliner, which is from the NYX Vivid Brights collection in the shade Vivid Halo, and I'm just going to be drawing a winged eyeliner with it. And using the tape as a guideline really was super helpful in making sure that both wings came out symmetrical and super sharp, so it was a good little trick. Now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara to prep my eyelashes for falsies. For lashes today, I'm going to be using these NYC Lily Lashes. And I'm going to use this House of Lashes eyelash adhesive to put them on. And I'm just going to put a thin stripe of glue along the lash band. So onto the face, I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Face Primer as my base and begin to apply that all over my face. Now onto these under eyes. I'm going to begin by taking my NYX Dark Circle Corrector in the shade Light Pale with a synthetic brush and apply that onto the dark circles underneath my eyes and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Now 
Now you guys know I love to color correct, so I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the green shade, and I'm going to apply that anywhere I have some blemishes, discoloration, or generally any redness. Following that, I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Concealer and place it on top of anywhere I put the green just to make sure it doesn't peek through. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my favorite Makeup Forever HD Stick in the shade Y405 and I'm just going to apply stripes on my face and then blend it out with my Damp Beauty Blender. For concealer today, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. And I usually use this one when I want more of a natural look, but I do go in with Max Prep and Prime in Light Boost just to brighten it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set everywhere that I put concealer at. So I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC30 and just lightly press that on the rest of my face. And I'm going to wipe off that baking using that same brush. To bronze up my complexion, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Contour Powder in the shade Java with that same brush and just applying it to my cheeks, forehead, and chin. For blush, I'm going to be taking this Marc Jacobs blush in the shade Lines and Last Night. With my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush, I'm going to pick up Whisper of Guilt from MAC and apply that to the high points of my face. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking Sandalwood and Henna again on a pencil brush and just running that underneath my lash line. And then for my waterline, I'm going to take my MAC Eye Coal in the shade NC15 and just place that in my waterline. And for even more definition, I'm going to take my Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush in that shade Coco and run that tightly underneath my waterline right under that eye coal. Then with my E25 Blending Brush by Sigma, I'm just going to blend all of that out. And to finish up the eyes, we are just going to add some mascara to our bottom lashes and add an inner corner highlight with that same Whisper of Guilt by MAC. And for our lips today, I'm going to go in with Candy K Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics and use that to line my lips as well as fill them in. And for gloss, I'll be using this Buxom one in the shade White Russian. Okay, you guys, and that is the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, all the products used will be in the description box below. See you in the next one. Bye.